Today, we shall find out whether assembly or C is faster. We have our benchmark code here. This sum function will add an array of numbers and return the result. We will generate a vector of random numbers and then we'll time how long it takes to add them up. This is the C code for adding the numbers up. It is just a very simple for loop. And this is the assembly code. It is very simple either. We have a loop here using jumps and we add them all into REX, which is where the return value is stored. Okay, now let's test how fast this is. Okay, now let's test the assembly code. It is a little bit slower, but why? Isn't it that C gets compiled onto assembly? And if that is the case, wouldn't that mean our C code has an assembly equivalent? This is what our C code gets translated into. It looks a lot more complicated than our assembly code. But why is it so much more complicated? Well, it looks like by the existence of the XM instructions, our code has been vectorized. And this is why most often C will be faster than handwritten assembly because the compiler is so good at generating assembly code. Of course, there are cases and there are people that can write better handwritten assembly than the compiler. And they are used very rarely, such as in the case of the GNU multi-precision library, which requires very, very performant code. But in vast majority of cases, don't use assembly. Just you see.